We'll see you on our next Raptor Adventure. and we're visiting Pandora. Lisa has never been here, so this is her very first time. I've been here one other time, and it is just as spectacular as the first time I was here. What do you think? This is awesome. I feel like I walked into another world. Yeah. It's pretty phenomenal, guys. You definitely gotta check it out. And these waterfalls um, kind of surround this area, so it's very cooling. It feels like yeah. much more cool. It does cool you off. Refreshing in the air. It's beautiful. We're getting ready to go on the Nabi River journey in just a couple minutes, and we're going to take you guys along. So let's go.
on the Navi River journey, and we're getting ready to head over to Africa, see if we can find some animals. As you can see, I'm rolling in a scooter today because I twisted my knee the other day, so not fun, but I'm certainly not gonna let that stop me. So we're gonna have a great time, let's go. We're headed back toward the Tree of Life. And to the left there was Tiffin's, that's where we had lunch, and it was so good, you guys. The best Wagyu steak we have ever had. What's Lisa got? Most famous snack in the park. Mmm, Mickey bar. Mm. Are they as good as I remember? As good as you remember. <laughs> Headed into Africa. Some cool crafts here that you can purchase. Some snacks. And there it is, guys. Kilimanjaro safaris. This one's getting in trouble. Hey, they got some cool Lion King stuff. Do they? Yeah. And it's big on there. It's not easy to vlog and, and scoot at the same time. Yeah. And then I have to keep track of this one. Yeah, it's really cool in there. We just got aboard Kilimanjaro safaris and we are ready to head out into Harambe. There goes another vehicle. They're so cute right now, but as you see with the adults, they won't be small forever. Like I said, the youngest of them is uh, about seven-ish months old. One of them was born right here on the reserve about eight months ago. Rhino eyesight is not very good. They do have really good senses of smell and hearing to make up for us, so they know we're here, they just can't really see exactly where we are. And that poor eyesight does actually lend them their group name, referred to as a crasher rhinoceros. Still, as incredible animals. With that being said, she just can reach top speeds of about 75 miles an hour. It's about 115 kilometers an hour in about three seconds. Now, Wardogs are actually the largest burning animal in the world with a razor sharp tested against the ground one. A group together, a sounder of Wardogs. But uh, a lot of people call them cool mode, but that doesn't mean Wardog and Swahili. It roughly means the foolish one. We also see the ostrich, the largest bird in the entire world, about 9 to 10 feet tall or so. We can tell all three of these ostriches are females because of their gray feathers. Males have black feathers. Oh. But even though the birds don't have wings, they can't fly. Their wings are too small in the wrong shape. They can sprint about 45 miles an hour, though. The fastest land animals in the world on two legs. There we go. Too crazy. Oh, they're right above us. Oh wow. The fish is biting his foot. Look, the fish is biting his foot. He doesn't care. Look, there you go. We are currently on the gorilla path and checking out the beautiful Nile hippos. They're pretty amazing. We were literally within like a foot of them. They just here they go. Check out those feet. 
Huge. It's just having a good time today, floating around. It pushes off. It's almost like underwater ballet if you were a hippo. I can honestly say that I understand why they created the hippo ballerina because they're just so graceful underwater. It's re it's really amazing with their size. Like it's astounding. So this is a skull of a hippo, and look at the size of these tusks. Check it out, guys. This is my hand. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. Just for a comparison. It's really fun, honestly. So we're almost done. I think we have like three left. Yeah, um, two more. It's fun, like being in this town and everything, because yeah. there, there are people that have been here a lot longer than me. I've only been on the trail for like a year and a half or so. Okay. So, but there are people that are. What you got there? Your souvenir. Drum. I can play the drums. I can drink out of my canteen, and I can snack on popcorn all at the same time. <laughs> in front of the tree of life. It doesn't get much better than that here at Animal Kingdom. Don't mind if I do. Wow, that looks real, and you can even put it in your belt. There's Simba, Pumba, and Simone. All right. Taking looks like it has a hook on the back you can put through your belt. Yeah, but you have to be careful because there's a snap there. Okay, so. it could drop. Yeah. All right. Thirsty out here. Lemon lime bubbles. <laughs> Don't be caught in the jungle without. Mm. You get a popcorn bucket around your neck. You get a non spillable canteen. See, nice to lid. Fill that up. <laughs> and then you come over here so you can get a selfie with me. And you're good to go. <laughs> then you come over here. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? I'm showing how you can do hands for eating. So Jen, Jen's having a good time, I think. I'm having an awesome oh, there time. Oh, there she is. Would you like some popcorn out of my handy necklace? Popcorn drum? No! <laughs> it's not that hand spray. <laughs> you have to still use your hands. I'm good with popcorn. Here. No. Use your feet. You're not the monkey over there. We just saw monkeys. That's why it's funny. Come on, let's get a picture. There. There it is. There it is. All right. It's the circle of life. Here's to the tree.
We are back at Kona Cafe inside Disney's Polynesian Village Resort and I didn't go over the whole menu. We are exhausted. We had a very fun filled day at Animal Kingdom. Went out to the Vineland Islets for a little bit. We did get a lot of footage at Animal Kingdom. So I'm just going to show you the food real quick. We didn't, we didn't film the menu or anything um, or the appetizers but I wanted to show you. I thought this was um, definitely bid worthy because this is a newer item on the menu I believe this is the porterhouse steak for two um, and wow it is huge so we're gonna show you guys real quick it actually came with a what's, what kind of, a wedge salad? wedge salad it actually came with a wedge salad um, which was big enough for two and also um, big potato which looks amazing so here is the baked potato looks like it's loaded with deliciousness and here is the porterhouse steak for two my goodness that thing is mm. uh, an inch two yeah it's very thick and this <laughs> thing on top is bone marrow <laughs> well obviously it's a bone and it has marrow in it we're just gonna remove that though because ew we don't do bone marrow we don't really do bone marrow just gonna too bad Snoopy's not here that's all I'm saying he probably would love that. Oh yeah. Little Snoop Dogg. Snoopy. Alright, so Lisa's gonna cut me a piece. Oh, is this my piece? I don't know if these are the same. I think they had a different steak on the menu. Two different steaks. Oh. Well one might be filet and one it might be strip. Oh my gosh. That's your strip. I'll just have a little bit of filet. You know me. I love my filet. We'll see you on our next. Raptor Adventure.